Week three in the Latin American region dawned over a hotly contested playing field as once again teams clashed in the hopes of securing that number one spot. Up first, we saw Synergy taking on Nova Esports in a true contest of might. Game number one started off with Synergy drawing first blood and surprising many, taking control of the match. It was short-lived though, as Nova caught their feet back under them and counter-attacked with measured ferocity. Synergy couldn't maintain their early game dominance and crumbled to the final push of Nova. Nova carried that confidence with them into game number two, where they smashed Synergy, not allowing them a moment to draw breath, taking the series two to zero. Our second match found Pain Gaming facing off against NTZ. NTZ surprised all by coming out of the gate swinging. Taking a swift early game lead off of fantastic Lindis play, they were able to get Dragon Control well into the mid game. But once again, we see the power of late game slims and crashed, coming back from a massive deficit. Pain was able to rally in the mid game. It was not enough, however, to overcome Rumble. His angelic Xenio play was the saving grace for NTZ, pulling off an upset no one would have seen coming. Game number two, however, saw a successful draft variation for Pain Gaming. Focusing on a hyper tanky composition with heavy CC, they were able to dominate early rotations and scale their Fennec into a mid-game powerhouse. Despite some potential comeback moments, NTZ just couldn't crack the defense of Pain, who take the game and the series 1-1. Day two pit Synergy up against Assassin's Crew as both teams battled to shake their lackluster season opening. Assassin's Crew showed up on a whole other level, absolutely shutting down the kill growth of Kadaki, limiting him to a single kill in a 20 minute game. Synergy put up one incredible response, however, going toe to toe throughout the match. Katrina's fantastic Crixie play, however, just wasn't enough to get it done. Game two saw a fast and bloody brawl as once again, the jungle prowess of Fran was enough to carry Assassin's crew through, definitely making a case for Team MVP, only dropping two deaths in the entire series. The optimistic Batman play from Synergy just couldn't quite get it done as Assassin's crew take it two to zero. Match number two saw a clash of the Titans as two teams battled it out at the top of the leaderboards. Both Nova and Geo Esports saw an opportunity to solidify themselves as the best in the region, and boy, did they deliver. Game number one saw the creativity of Geo abound as they pulled out Azuka on their superstar, Angra. The team played around this additional layer of aggression and was able to follow up to secure kills. Geo made it a habit of essentially living in the jungle of Nova and never let them feel comfortable in their farm. They rode this aggression all the way to the win. Game number two saw more of the same. Drafting a wild card Zill, Geo showed that, at least for now, their unbridled aggression and passion for early fights are enough to take them over any foe. They take the series 2 to 0 and advance their way to the top of the leaderboards. Overall, there are still many unanswered questions in LATAM, but there is one thing we know for certain the skill of these players cannot be denied. <laughs>